waters instead of just waving around that uh, northern cloth. It's cool too, though. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you bringing me these. <clears throat> you get those for you, Dan. No big deal. I, I'm glad that you can make it today. It'd make be cool it cool uh... if you just didn't misplace an entire rack of these sure. uh, toppers. Oh, uh, you know, I'll find them. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Yummies. I'm Dan. Why'd you say that like a question? But I'm Sean. I'm Rob I'm Dan. Um, so. Tonight. Today. Tonight. This moment in history. Realistically, it's a moment in history compared to the present. Broke your mind. I, I. It's the most phys, phil, phys, oh. We are doing a whiskey war. And tonight. <laughs> so we're gonna do a whiskey war um, with a set of samples given to us by another long time, first time, nope, not first time caller. I was gonna say long time watcher, first time caller. Long time watcher, long time caller. This is our second set from Brandon. <laughs> Third. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if it's our third whiskey war. We've got. I know I've gotten samples from him at least three times now. All right. Yeah. Brandon, you're the Boone it. County ones, remember? Oh yeah. But I don't. We didn't do a video with him. I don't think. No, he just gave those to us. Gosh, he was, he's an OG. He's a generous, generous human being. He mm. is. Um, he literally showed up to our um, whiskey meetup with samples because I asked for you guys. It's like eight I, of them. I did. Eight of them, which uh, would have been on a live stream. I don't know how, I don't know where this comes out probably previously, last week. Previously yeah. to this, right? So <clears throat> the week before, because this is probably going next Thursday. Who knows? Whiskey War rules. This way, probably this way. Then we rank them. Uh, we don't know what these we ones no are. We have no idea what they are. These ones are completely blind to us. He gave us four samples. Here's an envelope from him. These might be from Brandon and his dad. Okay. So I don't know if Brandon and his dad share all their whiskey. I they have a pretty loose relationship on that. Like, yeah, so uh, I don't even know you. These if, are my <laughs> father son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I they, don't know you. These are my. Books. If they share them, um, these are both. for both of them. Yeah. And thank you guys both. Thanks they, for being awesome. They also have a barrel for us. Yeah, like <clears throat> awesome. It's just two super cool people. This is a sealed envelope, as you can see. No tricks up the sleeve, and it's gone, which was pretty much magic. I am basically David Blaine. I wish you were Dave Blaine so you could diss a fucking Peter. <laughs> now. <laughs> hey. Fuck. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is gonna be a war. Good sir. I've heard. Now here's the only thing we know about him. Nothing. Uh, he told me they were good. That's they literally were, all I he know. He said they were better than the one on the last war we did that we oh, both man. liked. God. Rich. Damn, that is sweet. Deep. Oh. It's like butter. Uh, nice pan seared browned butter. There's that like nice uh, cooling. It's uh, like bright red fruit, honey. Like this is stereotypical bourbon, but, but it's not amplified. Floral. It's really amplified though. This, does this almost smell like uh, richer Blanton's gold? Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, it smells like a little bit oakier Blanton's gold. Um, There's some oak there. There's yeah. definitely some oak there, no, but it's yeah, such yeah, yeah. rich, sweet oak. It's not like a there's, bitter. There's no like spice or anything on the back end of it. Oh. That could literally be Blanton's gold. I think the proof's too high. No, that feels right. Blanton's gold, like 54. Oh, it's so good. Dark chocolate, cherry, honey. oak. I get honey. Honey up front. I get. That is literally Blanton's gold. All right, cool, next one. Wow. Whatever that is. It lingers too. I'm in. I feel like it lingers a little long for the old cold. Like bringing up my nose, I can still get that chocolate. That's really good. Holy oh, shit, bro. I got nowhere to go up. Go here from <laughs> up, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was the best one. So now that we, let's open the envelope and just see what we got. B. There, A has like this weird little tiny fun of, of bitterness in the transition. I know you're on B, I'll move on. I just took another sip and wanted to go back one time. <laughs> Will I almost completely lost it. Um, you know what, I'm not putting that cat back on. Oh my. Oh. Dude, it was, I got, I'm getting it together. B, 
You're ruining how good this whiskey is. That one good too. Oh, whoa, bro. Minty. No, it's not minty. <laughs> Everything to you is minty. Dude. No. <laughs> I just uh, said that. Legitimately? Next time, spearmint. Next yeah. one, peppermint. Next one, clove mint. <laughs> I don't know what the other mints are. I just had to say that. I like just had to. Legitimately, Dark. there's a bit of nuttiness to it on the, the back end of it. Oh, this is Booker's 35th. Because <laughs> <laughs> it kind of smells um, really, it smells really rich. Yeah. They're, like. I think we're probably just, look at the color on that though. It's almost red. My gosh, man. The color on, look at the color on the next one. I think, I'm assuming these are all Pappy 23. I hope there's like, they're all, that's four of the same sample. <laughs> I hope so too, because I'll drink the shit out of them. Because, uh, like, I feel like this it one has a little like more a woody. smidge more of that nuttiness. Yeah, woody. Um, this is the color of Sean's soul when he loses a bowling tournament. You wouldn't know, because I only win. Dark. How Saturday. All right. <laughs> oh, really, the needle that one. <laughs> Sunday was good though. Bit, bit more of the uh, red fruit on this. I feel like this is uh, more, really? more jammy. Like it, it feels more like that red raspberry jam. I, I feel like this smells like the mixed berry jam at a restaurant. All right, that's cool. More jammy. But there are like those subtle deep, um, deep like sugar notes. Good? <laughs> it's so good. Like, it is that mixture of like a blackberry with a raspberry, um, followed up with a little bit of cinnamon and some nice heavy oak spice on the finish. That could be George C. Stag. I, that's a hell of a whiskey, whatever that is. I know for a fact. Like, that could legitimately be George C. Stag. That ain't no bitch shit. <laughs> like, like, there's a good listen, amount of proof in there. There's no $20 in this whiskey. That literally dried my mouth out. But in the best way. Yeah, no, I wasn't mad about it. In a it. beautiful way. That is a symphony of. Um, that's more like on that blackberry leading on almost plummy note. It's a lot darker on the palate, but super caramel heavy at the same time. Wow. That's amazing. Um, I would guess that's like 53. Plus. I would guess it's over that. I would guess that's damn close to probably being a barrel fruit. Like one tenner plus, you think? I'd say plus. If it's not one ten, wow. I, I would be shocked if it was under one ten or one fifteen. Okay. I'm guessing one oh six. She's about to take a beating. I feel like. Oh, that's so much more delicate. Still proof behind it. Yeah, it smells a lot more like. Um, that's like borderline floral, I'd say. Um, yeah. Borderline. I'm not saying it's full-blown perfume shop at Sears. Like way lighter um, fruit notes. Heavy honey. I'd say this is so close to being floral. I would. Not in the most artificial way. This is C, by the way. It's like I would note. put that damn near really close to like a 107 nose. Like antique, so yeah. I antique for me is like really floral though. This is like, it's very close to it. This smells like, like poor man's pappy. Now that you say that, because poor, what poor, what the twelve did when you mixed them it was cut remove off a some lot of that, that. floral note, but, but it was still, still like sweet. yeah, it's very sweet still. Dude, you think you think Brandon's a son? Of this uh, is what he did, dude. He gave us samples, right? He knows, and then we told him what we whiskey. liked, and now he's like. You two are welcome. I, I know That's he knows his shit. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. What is that? The finish is weird on that. You, get, you, you So the finish is, um... Oaky. Really hard to pinpoint, but it's like it fruit, oh, around. fruit, yeah. oh, fruit, oh, like it's a back and forth. Like it, it's like you're playing Pong with I'm two not, different flavors. I'm not gonna say a thing before I have another one because I feel like that could be like a really good Russell's pick. Really? I feel like the proof's a lot lower on that one. Really? I, mm, I didn't get does, any of the it, burn. It drinks really smooth. Yeah, you're right. Sure. You're right. For us that don't use the term smooth, what he means is it drinks like a delicate, beautiful. He didn't wring every bit of moisture out of my mouth. No, it like didn't. a sponge. No. Just, <laughs> My tongue doesn't hurt. But there's still proof there. 
I don't think this is super low. I feel like it smells a little proofier than it is, or than it tastes. That could be it. It could have tricked me on it. <sighs> that cherry raspberry though, that's super cherry. We have done some whiskey wars that I feel like I've said are going to be rough. This, this is going to be by far the most competitive whiskey war I think we've ever done. I would probably agree. And um, we did the half that B tech one. There's going to be a lot of AB here. I bet we're going to be way off on this one. That's so much butterscotch. I'm going to guess this right now. One of these are Barter House. I'd almost say it's this one. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, maybe I should rephrase. Maybe it is Barter House, but one of these I feel like is maybe an Orphan Barrel. Um, orphan Barrels are low proof. You know that, right? This smells that, low. You know what? That's a good point. They're, I didn't think about that. Orphan Barrels are 90 proof. Yeah. No fucking way. No, you're this right. This one, Bye. if I taste it and it tastes, um, this is candied oak on the nose. Mm -hmm. Out of anything I would ever say that again, that's this. You say an Orphan Barrel? Yeah, that sounds right. I get a pear. I'm, I'm on board with that. Um, I get some ripe wow. pear. Is proof higher than you thought on that? A little. Like, I don't I don't think that's Butterhouse. The second drink made me think it's not. Because the second that drink made me tongue. feel... So the first drink didn't do that to me. The, but I just taken a drink of water. That drink right there, I have no water in there. That yeah. burnt my tongue. That sizzled it. Okay. Well, you're being a baby. I am. You're being a baby. You heard me just... It's not that. <laughs> that's... So here, they all have something in common, though. Um... They're all very good, thank They're you. all very good. Oh, they have shit. more than one thing in common. They're all very good, and uh, they're pretty like oak forward for the most part, but they're all really heavy sweet oak. You're Craig, right, they all have oak. They like, all have, but it's all densely covered in sweetness, cherry, sugar, oak. I don't know what these are, but this is our shit. Let's take a break, and uh, we'll go back Lose that our way. shit. We're gonna turn this off and just gush for probably 20 minutes. And then we'll come back. Let's see what this says here in the light. Oh, it sounds miserable. Yeah. Let me get this off. We're back. It's been me. actually a decent amount of time. I told him, I said, one of these is definitely a Boonton County store bait. You know what I, I don't know. I just don't even know. That's so rich, caramel, stereotypical bourbon for me. That's a, that's a, <laughs> That's a stereotypical barrel proof whiskey. Oh my God. Okay, I'll come back to that. Bourbon. That glass didn't even move. I literally just barely clipped. Impressed. Yeah. This just tastes like caramel and oak. Sweet, beautiful. This one's got, this one's opened up a little bit of that more floral range. You don't think so? It's, it so smells like springtime. Yeah, what it smells in a good like. way. Not yeah. a Michigan spring. It smells way better than that. I feel like it's more fruity than deep. I don't think it is. Really? No. This one I got more like sweet oakiness. This one I, I feel got more like this fruit. one feels like Lime thicker. Fruit. Like um jammy? Yeah. Okay. Like closer to that. Like this one feels like brighter fruit quality okay. for me. Mm. Ooh, I took a drink and that tastes like coffee now. <laughs> That's weird. I think it's the barrel that really sits heavy. Like uh the oak is super, super heavy on the finish. Yeah. That's interesting. You want Are you rank, starting to rank them right now? I'm, I'm thinking about you're it. You're starting to rank them. You're, all, you're just going to have four in a line this way rather than four in a line mm -hmm. that way. That's mm -hmm. what you're going to have. Mm -hmm. This one smells kind of like Jesus this, Christ. but lesser. Which one? Uh, this smell, B is what we're on. Yep. It smells a little bit like C, but I feel like it's lighter. I feel like this smells fuller. I like the nose a lot more on B than I like on C. It's way spiked. Whole, oh, way hotter. Proof wise, that is way hotter. I feel like these are not light on proof. I feel like none of them are light on proof or age. Now they're all dark, which means it's one of the two. Man. Um, I don't know what I said on the way got, through, but I'm, I'm getting like a plummy note. I almost got a little nose. mint on the front of the palate of that one, which is annoying because you're just smart. It's the only reason it's annoying. Honestly, I thought this one was gonna be last, and I think I was misplacing it. That's not what I thought it was. I get so much more like uh, tropical, like a pear mango almost. Like a Jefferson's Ocean, what we think it, like what it was initially. <laughs> not even to that. Like that one was super tropical. That was blue skittle. That was blue skittles. You know what I mean? This one feels like super pear dominated. 
Oh my god. That one's a high proof too. It's not as high as the last one, I don't think. Um, I'm gonna have to do some A B here, but <sighs> I'm gonna have to do A B C D. Um, oh that, that one finish is weird, like with a little coffee. It tobacco. almost like fell short mid palate to finish for me. The the late finish, I get a little like almost tobacco on that. I like yeah. a dark I'm coffee, on, I'm on that leather, leather leathery, tobacco. Yeah, I'm yeah. on that leathery path for it. Um, but it it really ramps up super hard. Sure. Um, and then I feel like that one just kind of falls flat. That's interesting. I feel like... Comparatively, going back this uh -huh. way, I don't know. I feel like since we've gone uh, back, when we went through the first time, a couple of these were like, dude, these, has, these have hung out for so long. Even through me drinking water, I could still get some of it. Yeah. I'm gonna... the, that one might might fall a little behind, but... I think it does. Man, that pear's not going away. It really falls short to the rest of these unfinished. Um, that's like, crazy. You're you're not wrong. These ones like just they're there for they're a just, long period of time. Long haul shit. Um, those are there and they're there to hang out. Those are your annoying. That's your annoying family that won't leave after the party. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That's um, little, like, but but one of them is super cool and you want to hang out with them anyways. So. All right, you're gonna do some abs. What is that placement? I got it. Don't worry. Jeez, oh, Get please. the fuck out of it's here. It's a different language. All right, there. so we're gonna. <laughs> Do some ABs. Yeah. Drink some more water. A lot more water. Wonder why I have so many good samples in front of me and uh, try to pick a winner. Okay. So. I would say that they're all within the same ballpark proof wise. Yeah. Probably. Um, um, I think one is probably 10 under. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd say that that's probably true, but they're all within whatever ballpark. I think. We don't this, have a 90 and a 130. I think whatever this one is, is uh, 90s. Actually, you're gonna have to say the letter, so I, I'll I think it's this one. I think I put it here I wouldn't say that any of these are bad. I don't know the prices on any of them. We don't know what lines they're from I uh, I had a guess on a couple Don't know how right they are um, I I guessed one of them being Blanton's gold One of them being a Boone County barrel Barrel sword proof. Pick. Yeah, barrel proof sword pick. Um I guess uh, maybe a really good Russell's pick. I, I don't think but I, more I don't think that's right coming back through. I don't think I've never had no. a Russell's pick anything like that. Um, maybe they are, but I don't think so. I would think that one I really thought was a Weller's pick on the way through. What? I was like, uh, one of them I thought was a Weller pick. Mm. Like a like a 107. No, I thought it was 107 when I smelled it. And then I was like, yeah. ooh, it could be a special reserve pick. Oh, they do 107 picks though. I know. That. But I think it okay. could be a reserve pick. Okay, one so. Time. One other time. Sealed on the lope. What? The lope of the on. The what? UPS brings these sometimes. Sometimes they decide not to. This is the hardest war we've What's ever last? done. Uh, for me, I have a uh, A. Dude, me too. I'm shocked for real. I'm shocked if we have any of these the same. Cause we didn't have any. Wait, wait, wait. Don't look yet. Okay. We should just do our lineup. Okay, you're right. So we didn't. Before we say this, we didn't do any talking while we place these. What do you have for third? Um. D. Okay, I have C. All right. Okay. So. A. A D. A C. What do you have for second? It looks like a C. <laughs> you got D? Yeah. So we just switched second we and third. We switched second and third. So we have the same first. B. Yep. You want to just confirm just so we know? Uh, that is B. Okay. So fourth oh. place. A. Sample set number one. This is what Brandon wrote. <sighs> what cast strength MGP source bourbon is best? I was right off camera, which really annoys the shit out of me. It was. Gosh dang it! You never even fucking Why? said that. Why? That's so annoying. I yeah. Don't, I, it's, I Why would you even say that? I the viewers are gonna think you said that. Whatever. He never said it. I have. I didn't say. I haven't seen that it's on this list. Let's put it that way. So what's the um, last place for us? A. Perfect. Because that's the only one I can see actually. A. I, was, I only know what A is, and that's last place. Let's go there. A's the only one I thought that was uh, a Blanton's. Okay. Bell Mead Nine Year Single Barrel, one hundred seven point nine proof. Okay. Okay. Do you wanna? That's really good. Sean has a bell mead. He has not a cast ring. I don't know that this is. Is 107.9 cast ring? Mm. 
Oh, he said what? Cast strength MGP is the best. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's what does third and so, so Sean have, and I we switched reverse. I think I have DC. I have D. Okay. And then I have C. We already know that. C. And I have C. C and then I have D. So yeah. second, third, third, second. Yeah, cool. Get him in one shot. D. D third for, for you. Yep. Second for me. Blonde Bros. Old Fangled Not or Ten Years. Yeah, you talked about it. That annoys me. Yeah. Because this camera was off, and when I'm replacing the SD card because we ran out of space, I literally go, I wonder if one of those is an old Blom Nodder. And I said, I know he just traded for one of those. Not single barrel, 114.8 proof. Yeah, that's good shit. That's that good so shit. annoys me that's on camera. But, so I put the Blom second, you yep. put it third. Third. So, C, second for you, third for me. Yep. Near Pingree 10 year single barrel Piccolo's pick. Oh, that's solid. 108 proof. So I put that third. That was a very good pick. Now, the very unfortunate part, what did we both put first? B. B. The very unfortunate part for me oh, is God. I'm going to have to suffer through what happens after. Is it going to be a 107 it store pick? It's not a 107 store pick, but you also you guessed it. Was this it a too. special reserve store pick? No. Okay, you're making it worse for yourself because you got it right at one point. I don't know if you guessed B was it, but you guessed if it was in this lineup. And Rams? it does have a B, and it does have Blame a C. The goal? No. What the hell did I say? A Boone County store pick. Okay, I did say that earlier. Uh, yeah. Like four times, actually, I think. Actually, a lot. Boone County 12 year single barrel 114 proof. Yeah. Barrel B 0153. Right. 513. Uh, it's the Bluegrass Hospitality pick for all of those wondering. Yeah. These are all so good. Oh, and Jesus it's insane Christ. how different. There is not a reason you shouldn't have any of these. Holy smokes. We went through this, and it's like one of these has got to be a Boom County store pick. Uh, you know the, the cash ring. Yeah. The interesting part is um, if we're considering secondary market, the one we put first is by far the most expensive. Boom County? I've seen a Boom County go for 375 secondary. Oh, okay. Uh, I've seen like old Nodders go for 200. Pingree's go for, I haven't seen a 10 year go for 200. About a 175. Sure. And then uh, the Bell meme, I've seen go for one to 150s. <sighs> oh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you very much for the samples. These are all really This is good. a fantastic whiskey war. You guess one of these is George C. Stan. It could be. You guess B. No, B is first, bud. You thought that was George C. Stan. It could be. It's damn good. When hey, guess what? Secondary prices, roughly the same. When we tasted B, I said, that could be a George T. Stag. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. All right. I don't do. For real, thank you for the samples. Just thank you much. for too allowing much. us to drink these. They're so good. We're um, really junkies. We are. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Consider doing so. Uh, we're going to be doing live streams and stuff. Hopefully, Ooh, yeah. Hopefully consistently. Uh, or we we're, we're at least we're giving it a hell of a shot. Let's put it that way. So we are going to be <laughs> whatever doing his that. internet will allow. We'll do. I think that it's good. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Thank you. Check out the links below. Patreon stuff like that. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Proofs in the bar. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs>